And now we get to the point where we've got something that looks more like a normal graph. y equals x cubed minus 5x squared plus x plus 7. So, differentiating. All we do is you do them bit by bit. So when you differentiate x cubed, you get 3x squared. Differentiate negative 5x squared gives me minus 10x to the power 1, which is x. Differentiate x, you just get the number 1. And differentiate plus 7 gives you 0. So we don't need that 0. So we've got the answer now of dy dx equals 3x squared minus 10x plus 1. This lead, now this leads us very nicely into, what happens if you get brackets? Well, the standard advice, because you won't be able to do this straight away until you do your A-level, is just to multiply out the brackets to start with. So multiplying this out gives me x squared plus 5x plus 6. So now we can just differentiate just part by part. So x squared becomes 2x, 5x becomes 5, and the 6, when you differentiate, becomes 0. Because don't forget, y equals 6 is just a flat line. So there you go. OK, here's your 2 to try. You're going to differentiate y equals 5x cubed plus 4x take 3. And you're also going to differentiate y equals x plus 3 all squared. So, press pause and have a go. OK, if we go differentiating, if we get the right pen, dy dx, differentiating 5x cubed is 15 x squared multiplied by 3 took 1 off the power uh, 4x becomes 4 and minus 3 just disappears so 15x squared plus 4 second one multiply out the double bracket first of all so you can then attack the problem x squared plus 6x plus 9 and then it becomes nice and easy for a mathematician as good as you are so dy dx equals 2x add 6 I might be tempted, this isn't necessary, so factorise that, you'll see why later.